Welcome back to the math book series. It's been months. It's been months. And this chapter, I don't know the name of, but these, this is basically extended. Wait a second, it's, alright, so, this, this is a enumeration. It will, it's like this. I call it enumeration. Let's just do an equation. These tell you what centerpiece you need. But here's the thing. That's not the only... But that's not how the real equation goes that I want to show you. Alright. You want to first do this. To fi get five. You can't do it like this, though. You have to do it like this, because it says so. And that 5 needs to go with the 3. And you get 15. And 15 times 1 equals 15 minus 3 equals... 12, so the answer to this question is 12. That was a short little episode. Hmm. Suspiciously short. I'm going to try making the most complicated equation I know. All right, what does star equal? I'll give you a sec. Pause this if you need more time. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, 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 One. Did you guess it? Did you guess six? Hopefully you did, because you might have failed. Actually, why don't I try a very complicated equation? But let's first figure out the dead giveaway. You see this? So you have to subtract 3 first. 
then add 5 to star, then times whatever made by that with that. So, if that was 6, that would be 12, and 12 times 100 is... I mean... Oh, ah! Wait, so, this is our new chapter. Extended Equations. Bye.